animation nu this whole thing of backwards. I don't think so. Hello and welcome once again to Tom's Hit Parade. I will be debuting a new monthly feature with this video. Uh, and ironically, it's not one of the two features I was hinting at in my State of the Channel video a few weeks ago. This is an idea I just came up with. Well, okay, full disclosure, I did not come up with it myself. I'm completely stealing this idea from Sam Bennett. Uh, he's a great YouTuber, by the way, if you haven't checked out his channel yet. Uh, see, the deal is, uh, in the last few weeks, twice now, he's bought a couple of uh, mystery grab bags full of CDs. And these are like, you know, full grocery size bags of, I guess there were 40 CDs in them and he paid 15 bucks for him and he opened them up live on live streams on his channel and of course that's the idea with a mystery grab bag is you don't know what's in it until you open it so he had a lot of fun doing that and i had so much fun watching those two videos probably the most fun i've had watching any of the videos on his channel not to say that he's not good at everything else he does i mean he mostly does album reviews and he's perfectly good at that it's just you know it was just for some reason a lot of fun watching him help open those grab bags. So I decided uh, to do the th same thing myself and to do it every month. Uh, I'm doing it on a much, much more budget conscious level, of course. You see one of the local stores I go to sells the same idea. Mystery grab bags, seven CDs for $2.99. As you can see here, Skips Records and CD World in Eugene, Oregon. And so I decided, I mean, they've been selling these things for years and I've never bought one until after I saw Sam Bennett do it. Uh, so I decided to buy two of these, and that's the thing I'm going to do is every month I'm going to buy two of these and open them up uh, on my channel. And I'm going to be putting a little bit of a twist on it, though. Uh, in between opening the two bags, I'm going to be reviewing a CD that I found in a bargain bin. It may be one that I found recently or one that I found a long time ago. But uh, yeah, just something that you might find in the bargain bin yourself. And I, I just figured I'll be doing the dirty work and telling you whether or not it's a good CD. So... Well, let's get on with the uh, the first bag here. Uh, now, it's sealed with staples, so I'm going to use scissors to open it. Because if I just pop the staples and then reach into the bag, I could end up, uh, you know, mangling my hand. I'd rather not do that. So, uh, so the bag is open. Let's see what's in it here. Stella Soleil, Dirty Little Secret. Never heard of it. Interesting. 2001 Universal Records. Well, I'll be curious to hear what that uh, is there. Let's see, uh, Goud's Thumb or Goud's Thumb. I've never heard of these guys either. BMG, 1996. I'm never afraid to try listening to anything, so what the heck, I'll, uh, of course, if any of this stuff is any good, I'll let you know, I'll just let you guys know about it, and in fact, I'll probably re be reviewing it in a subsequent Bargain Bag video. And here we go, the Catherine Chase Band, here's a new one, uh, kind of looks country-ish, I don't know, maybe, the attire is somewhat ambiguous, so I don't know if it's country or not, but, uh, yeah. Give it a try. Why not? Slot Records. It's an indie label. Never heard of it. It's definitely some unusual stuff. I was expecting to find kind of run-of-the-mill junk in here. Okay. Grain, Mulvey, and Deirdre Gribben. Solo and Chamber Works. Rational Option Insanity. I'm not making this up. Read it yourself. I have absolutely no idea what this is. Uh, some kind of a classical or avant-garde uh, thing. Hmm. The Arts Council, and it looks like Gaelic or traditional Irish. I don't know if you can read it, but the uh, on the upper left corner there, by that little icon there, the Arts Council, and it's got something in. It looks like uh, Gaelic or, uh, you know, traditional Irish, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, maybe something interesting to listen to. 
and hmm. I have I don't know what this uh, reads. <laughs> this one is going to be com a complete mystery. I have no idea what this is. If you can read that, uh, God love you, because I can't. So uh, yeah, 2014 Car Park Records. Perhaps a London or a, a UK artist. Oh, here we go. Gremlin, soon away. Okay. Indie stuff. Definitely worth. Help. I mean, see, everything's worth a listen, right? Susie Luxinger, real love. I'm kind of guessing this is country. Integrity Music is the label. Produced by Paul Overstreet. That name sounds familiar, but anyway. What the heck, right? And here is the final CD in this bag. Lady Cam. Get it, got it. I've got it because I'm holding it, right? Whether I get it is another story, but uh, yeah. An interesting grab bag here, definitely. So, uh, yeah. I will let you know if any of this stuff is worth keeping. Uh, so anyway, okay, that's the first grab bag. That one's out of the way. Uh, now, the CD that I want to review today is something I found last week in the bargain bin for $1 at a local store. It's by a rock band called The Lost. And as strange as it may sound, the thing that attracted me to this CD was, well, not only its price tag, but also the fact that I was able to find virtually no information on these guys on the web, uh, on a, in a cursory search anyway. Uh, and just maybe the vaguest hint of what genre they were. I mean, judging by the, the date, 1991, you would expect that it's grunge, and you can kind of see from the pictures. I mean, it's definitely rock. It kind of, you know, like I said, with the year, it might suggest that it's grunge. Um, and it's all the more strange that I couldn't find anything about this album since it was on a major label, Epic Records. Uh, but anyway, and I mistakenly assumed that this was grunge, but... In fact, they actually borrow most of their sound from southern rock bands like Allman Brothers and more blues-influenced bands like the Rolling Stones. And in fact, the uh, the lead singer's voice sounds a lot like Mick Jagger, mixed with maybe a little bit of uh, Jim Morrison. So, uh, but yeah, it's I mean it's it's good stuff. There's plenty of thick, fuzzy guitars and some good bass and tight drum work. And uh, they actually get a little bit of help from uh, more noteworthy musicians, like uh, Blues Traveler's John Popper appears on harmonica in a few tracks. And uh, one of the uh, queens of rock and roll, Joan Jett, uh, plays guitar on a, str on a track called Touch My Bones. And uh, some, a couple of the highlights on this track, uh, there's a surprisingly good cover of Buffalo Springfield's For What It's Worth. It actually works surprisingly well with, with uh, this guy's, these guys' style. And there's an excellent instrumental called Solid Body. Now, this is a pretty high-octane album, so don't look for too many subdued tracks on here or ballads um, beyond the unlisted final track, which is a cover of... It's a great acoustic cover of Jimi Hendrix's Are You Experienced? That's, I mean, that's one of the standouts on the album, even though it's, it's, it's unlisted on the uh, track listing here. And, but that doesn't make this album as monotonous as you might expect. I mean, it's, it's if you like high energy, rock and roll, good, nice guitar heavy rock and roll, check these guys, guys out. You know, go try searching for their stuff uh, online. I don't think you're going to find it on any, any streaming service, though I could be surprised. But anyway, I did a little more, more digging after I listened to this album, and I found out that the front man, a guy named Luke Jenklo, now works as, of all things, a well-respected literary agent in New York City. I found an article on him in the New York Times, which is kind of interesting. So, uh, And he did front another band after this one called Darla Hood, which I'm kind of uh, intrigued to check out after after uh, listening to and somewhat liking this album. So, uh, yeah. The Lost is the name of the band. Um, the self-titled album. So, yeah. If you ever find it, uh, pick it up. Check it out. Okay, now on to the second of my two grab bags. This is, a, this is kind of fun. I can see why Sam's doing it. Uh, let's see. Here off the top of the bag here. Okay. I don't want to look at them as I'm pulling them out. I want them to be a complete mystery at the moment I pull them out of the bag. Hmm. Heavenly Music for Angels by Victoria's Secret. 
And it's, it's not a compilation, it doesn't look like. Unless Victoria's Secret is the name of the band. I was assuming it was, you know, a, a store, you know, something, a premium from the store, Victoria's Secret, I don't know. Yeah. What the heck? Like I said, not afraid to try anything. Uh, Revenge, One True Passion. Uh, Revenge is apparently the name of the band. Capitol Records, 1990. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that the the cover makes it look like a uh, one of those uh, rather oversexed divas, pop or rock divas. So hopefully that's not that turns out to be something different than that. Oh, <laughs> one of the the name of one of the tracks on here is Fag Hag. So what the heck? Surf Nazi is another track on here. So hey. This, okay, this one I've got to try out. I mean, come on. Uh, let's see, what else here? Prod. An album called 2.3. Uh, copyright 1999. Grudmuck Music. I believe that is an indie label. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of guessing that this is uh, somewhere grunge, metal. Well, probably not grunge since it's 1999, but probably more of a metal or new metal influence band. Hey, for three bucks for seven CDs, you cannot complain, honestly. Uh, oh, uh, Latin music. Melinda Leon. Uh, never afraid to try Latin music. Uh, Sony Discos. 1999. Si no vas a decir nada. That's the name of the first track. I have no idea what it means, but I'm pretty good at pronouncing Spanish, faking Spanish. I have no idea. You know, por favor, no fumar. That's about the only Spanish I know. But anyway, uh, Melinda Leon. I'll give this one a try, sure. And uh, Kurt McKee, Darkness to Light. I'm kind of guessing this is going to be New Age or... Oh, it's a Christian CD. Sorry, I'm sorry. Not to, uh, you know, insult... The, uh, the religious folk out there or, you know, fans of Christian music, it's just, it's lost on me because I am not religious. So uh, anybody out there who's interested in Christian music, let me know. I will be happy to send this to you. Assuming I'm not completely and totally won over by it, uh, which I, I pretty much doubt. So, uh, so yeah. Anybody who wants any of these CDs, by the way, that, uh, you know, if you see anything that you might want to have, let me know in the, in the comments and, uh, you know, uh, Antonio Vivaldi, Forever Gold, classical, obviously. Uh, yeah, I do have some classical in my collection. Oh, and a still sealed CD, or sealed in some kind of plastic. Tantric Har, obviously uh, Indian music, possibly meditative type stuff. Interesting. Why not? Well, how about that for my first two grab bags? Uh, that was a whole lot of fun, wasn't it? I can see why Sam has so much fun doing that. And I'm definitely going to enjoy uh, making this a monthly feature on my channel. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, that's it for this video. Comments, suggestions, requests, constructive criticisms, any or all of the above, whether it's about this video or anything on my channel or anything about music in general. Uh, tell me all about it in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, also, please be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. I would love to have you as a subscriber and check out all my past videos to see what you might have missed. Also, I invite you to check out my friends and fellow YouTubers channels, uh, which are linked to in my description below. They're all very much worth your time and they wouldn't be listed there if they weren't. Uh, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And remember, life's too short to be a music snob. Osknift Nodja. Strukab Odiev Loch Sith Ud Dushya Ibiam.